It feels to us a lot like 1995. We have the most vibrant, exciting new version of Windows in years. We complement it with the most vibrant, exciting new release of Office in years. I've got PowerPoint up and running here. The first thing you'll notice, it's a very sleek, a very clean, beautiful user experience. I can use my fingers to navigate as I'm on this touch-based device. So I can just go ahead and tap and go through my different slides that are here. Maybe I'll drop into the slide sorter mode. Uh, I can do things as you would expect, like pinch and zoom. So I can zoom out or I can zoom into my presentations. So let me give you a look at what the OneNote application will look like. If I want to enter content, there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Of course, I can use mouse and keyboard. Uh, but we also, of course, enable the pen and stylus. So I can go ahead and write anywhere I want to over my notes. If I say, hey, you know, this 930 is wrong, I'll just cross that out. So let's get together at 10 o'clock. My handwriting is terrible here. A little nervous. I can circle things that I think are important. I can annotate on the map itself. If we want to meet down here at those particular points, I can do those sorts of things. You get the idea. Now, like the rest of the Office applications, SharePoint has a new user interface as well. Much cleaner, simpler, a design that's easy and intuitive for people to get access to the tools that they need. Now, with SharePoint and social, you can follow, you can keep track of anything, all kinds of different content. Over on the right here, you can see the listing of the people I'm following, the documents I'm following, the sites I'm following, the tags I'm following. I can go ahead and just click and go into all the documents and see the ones that I'm looking at. SharePoint will also suggest documents that I should be following based on the documents themselves and the things that I've followed in the past. I want to show you an experience in Excel, one of the ways that we're trying to make every user in Excel a power user. The scenario I want to go through here is a relatively common one for people that are taking content from the web and wanting to do some analysis on it. Uh, this is a spreadsheet. Uh, it's got content that uh, in this middle column here, this B column, you can see all the fields are concatenated together. This is something that happens. You copy from the browser and you put it into something like Excel, and it's not quite in the right format that you may want it to be. We have a new feature uh, in Excel that can help break apart that content so you can go and do analysis on it. Now, historically, people would literally rekey that content, or if they were more advanced, they might write macros to go ahead and do that. I want to show you with a new feature called Flash Fill how simple it can be in the new Excel. I'm going to go and pull out a field. Let's say I want to pull out the names of people. I'll just go type John, and I'll type Jenny, and watch as I hit Enter. That'll fill that entire column all the way down uh, with, with that name. I'll show it to you one more time here. I'll type in advertising. I'll pick a different word, and then events. And again, fill that all the way down. And notice Excel's pretty smart here. It gets that digital marketing two words. It, it smartly pulls that out into the right column. Now, for the last demo, I want to touch on uh, one final experience uh, that I think is particularly exciting as we think about Windows 8, as we think about a new class of devices in Office. I want to go ahead and join a meeting that's in progress. I'll, it's a link meeting that's here. I'll go ahead and start that. And this is going to start in high definition, multi-party video conference, just in one click. Here, uh, Brian, you there? I'm there. How are you, Kirk? Brian, you sound great. I'm going to go ahead and start my video. Now, let's say we've got this video started, and I want to add somebody. Let's go down the list here, and we'll go ahead and add Sandhya. I can just drag and drop her with my finger. That's all it takes. And I can go ahead and add Sandhya to the meeting itself. She'll pop up in a quick, quick second there.